you want to go to a place where I was like, can I just, can I just play hockey, make my vlog, and just, you know, just have fun. Tell him. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. Come on in. Thank you so much. You do a great job every day, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> See you tomorrow. What a nice clean lane. Last day in the hotel, getting out of here tomorrow. Figure, let's do a little hotel tour and a little breakfast review. Cup of Joe getting ready. The people working here at the buffet, this is the only time in Sweden I've actually seen anybody working somewhere wearing a mask. I love Sweden. Suck in North America. So in Sweden, a double-double does not exist. There is no cream, there is no sugar. If you're Canadian like me, you can go to Timmy Ho's or Starbucks anytime and you can ask them for a Wainer, the Wayne Gretzky cough, nine cream, Nine sure. This isn't the wainer. This is just like a little bit of fake milk and honey. Equipment. I gotta organize everything. Kind of pack my bags and pack my suitcase. Got my stick set up over there. Bought and scripts. Promo code Travis sucks. You know the drill. Bed, which I stole some pillows from my last room, so now I got maximum amount of pillows. I probably burned through about eight different hotel card keys because I just keep losing them. I keep asking for new ones, and they keep giving them to me. Infiltrate the dealer. Find the supply. Infiltrate the dealers, find the supply. You're new to the channel, first off. I'd like to more importantly apologize for the fact that you ended up here in the first place. And if you're regular to the show, you know that one of my favorite things in this entire world is a nice hot bag from Rotten Ronnie's Wonderland. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper, Big Mac Whopper. I figure let's try some new things at Rotten Ronnie's. Double super cheese, the double super cheese. This is the chicken Mix salsa, the salsa McChicken. Easily my favorite sandwich at Rotten Ronnie's in Sweden. Double cheeseburger is great on its own. Chicken McSalsa, great on its own. You put them together, and after some moderate penetration, you now have a Swedish McGangbang, a chicken sandwich inside of a double cheeseburger. Before the comment section goes absolutely off me, calling me a fat ass and saying, what kind of athlete are you? You're eating McDonald's. I want you to remember, I got four sandwiches, not two. Man. Just got a big hot bag of Rotten Ronnie's, just crushed. Greasy, dog. What'd you get, man? What'd you go with? Got a surprise for Dave. The guy behind the camera right now, he's a great guy. He has been very helpful during my time in Sweden. This guy picked me up from the airport when I came here, taking me and Sweeney to different fast food places. He's showing us around Stockholm. He actually needs a new helmet, and if I'm going home tomorrow, to have all this extra stuff, I'm probably gonna be overweight in my bags, and it's gonna cost me an extra 200 bucks. So I figured, folks at Victory gave me an awesome V10 helmet, and I figured you might as well pay things forward, especially when I lost my cell phone at the uh, train station the other day. Somebody gave it back, so. Do you like it or no? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. If you ever want to start your own YouTube channel, comes built in with a GoPro mount. It's really sturdy compared to my Bauer. You don't want the dangler? 100%? Yeah. Thank you so much. You know what a trap means in Swedish? What does trap mean? Like horse race. Where are you taking me? Monk sports. <laughs> Big thank you to these gentlemen. Big save Dave, this guy's made my life easier. Good friend Dan, Fika Dan. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your hospitality. Nice seeing you in real life and... Um, that I'm not a creature on the internet, I do exist. Finally, you're going home. <laughs> Why can't they just agree on this, the length? The, the 25 Bauer is the same uh, like paddle height as the 26 Warrior. Undercover, blacked out, ultrasonic. Dave, hold that up. Look at that, that is a nice stick. Wow, that looks good. I really want to try out an Axis Pro Stick, but they don't come in full right, only regular hand, so I'd have to use it like Curtis Joseph. Dear CCM, please make some full right Axis Pros so I can buy it. I gotta say, and I gotta hand it to CCM, this is probably like the best graphic on the market, right? Like, like all the graphics suck these days. The less you do, the better it looks. Although it may be Chinese made, it falls apart, but like, I think my LeFave Double T is better. I feel like the double team on my left face is a little wider. <laughs>
Kirk Allen, head warrior rep, has been bugging me for a while. Trav, you haven't seen the G5s in person. You haven't tried them on. Well, they got a really comfortable blocker poem. If you're watching this video during your morning dump, I want you to stop and I want you to listen to what I'm about to tell you. This is razor thin. Bauer and their vapor blockers and even the Supreme ones, they have great rebound pop. This is like a f***ing cheeseburger. You gotta make a thinner blocking board because I think it'd be better, more mobile, better pop. I said, oh, we fixed it. We made it thicker. Please just make the G6 thinner. This is why I was saying in the G4 review, like this is the worst blocker I've ever used. Closure is great. It feels good. And I think the, the thing too is like how light it is, eh? Yeah. It's a crazy light glove. Only complaint, we need a 580 style G5. Everybody needs to start making a 580. It's making a comeback. When I got my G4s, they were super stiff out of the box, which, which is what you want in a butterfly pad. But like after three, four weeks, they started softening up a lot. And they, these feel stiffer. You go down a butterfly and the pad, the thigh rise would just like wobble. Yeah. It's like shaking like a leaf. That's the thing with my pads. So you're having the same problem with your G4s. The Warrior ARS toe ties. Get rid of them, put some prolaces in the pad. Promo code Trap sucks. Save your 10% on your prolaces. You should pick up a set. Way better than the ARSs. They're nice, but they're just a little too tight. I don't know how I'm gonna switch out of a 580 glove. Like my double T 580, even though it's a practice palm, it closes like a dream. So you're saying that you can only use truth? Yorgi Arkenbach, if you're at the true headquarters watching this video, send me an email. I can 100% be bought. All right. A lot of people ask me about my ultrasonic chest protector that I had over the summer. That was Guy St. Vincent, Guy St. V. That was his ultrasonic chest protector. He lent it to me, used it for about four skates. I just found the arms were just way too soft, filling everything in the arms. Probably pick up a custom Vapor 3X Pro in the spring. Feels decent, feels bulky. Kirk Allen and Warrior, I'd love to try one. Maybe two one. Love to try one out, send it my way. I'm also broke, can't afford to buy one. Yeah, speak for Dave and I, and I both say this, Golden Monkey in Sweden. Great experience, great store. Thanks to Alec Bloomquist and everybody else for the hospitality. I'll give you a call back in an hour and a half and, and let's go over this before you make a decision if I'm going home or not. Alright, talk to you later, bud. I want to have a f***ing aneurysm from dealing with this sh**. You? What do you think I'm thinking about? Trav, I'm in it now, so I gotta see it through. It's like, you're like Jack and Rose. I'm in, I'm involved now. You jump, I jump. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, Trav, I didn't think it would be this big of a mess, but, you know, learning experience. This is advice. In order to, to get the what you want out of this, you gotta put effort, the, as much effort as you've already put in, we gotta get effort to, to kind of work our way back out of it. And you're pretty committed to coming over here from what I gathered, from what I've watched, and what I've, how I've heard you speak. I don't want you to see this as an out. There's more than enough reasons for you to off and go home. Was the situation in Flemingsburg salvageable? We decided no. You know I play to the cautious side. If you tap out as soon as sh as soon as things get shitty, that's always going to be the case when we're working from the bottom up. I just want to be happy at the end of the day, and I won't want to be happy and play hockey. And I know if I go home, I'll be happy playing hockey. Where I'm going to deal with shit like this. I'm 24 years old, dude. I'm not dealing with ultimatums and a team trying to blackmail me. I'll just go home at that point. Well, I think that's your answer right there, Trav. And one big thing that you said in there was, yeah, I could be happy here, but I know I'll be happy back home. That is something you need to decide. That's something on, that you need to decide because I can't decide that for you because I'm not the guy that has to do it. <sighs> Let me make a quick phone call real quick. You've got literally a month to make a decision on whether you're staying or not. I'm happier saying things like this because I feel like two weeks ago you'd have been like, I'm going. I'm going here. I don't care. I want to get you out of the hotel. That's the biggest thing because it's not, it's not fun. The more conversations I've had about you with people that have never talked about you, from you being in Sweden, this story has to prolong. You can't just end here. Tell him. On behalf of Mr. Big Save Dave, Game 7 himself, and yours truly, go and hit the like button, subscribe, and use the promo code TRAVSUCKS and some awesome products so I can afford to buy a Tesla. When I go home, I would love to be able to buy a Tesla. Thanks for watching. Missing a piece, eh, bud? Just don't for a rip, eh?